We're going to go back now to our hydrogen. And if you remember, the hydrogen didn't really give out very much light when we, when we tried to burn that. But we can get some light out of this, if we're rather clever, by heating up something that gives out some light. So this is what we're going to try now. We've got the hydrogen and oxygen light here, and we're going to heat up. Well, this is a stick of chalk, exactly the same sort of thing that your teacher would use. So we're heating it up. If we have the lights down, please. Look at this brilliant white light. Okay. So there's a chemical reaction going on. Well, the chalk is calcium carbonate, and under the heat here, this is uh, forming calcium oxide. And it's actually the calcium oxide that is glowing. We have a lump of calcium oxide on the top here, and just heating that up, we can get the same light out. Now, calcium oxide is also called lime. Now, this light source was used in early theatres. So when they wanted a spotlight on somebody, well, how did they get their bright light? Well, there wasn't any batteries and uh, light bulbs at the time, so they used this chemical light from the lime, and hence we, it was called lime light. Okay? We still have this expression now, in the lime light, and this is how it was generated. Well, how exactly did they do it? Well, this is the sort of apparatus that they used. Similar to ours, there's the, uh, the taps here with the hydrogen and the oxygen coming in. We need hydrogen and oxygen because we need a really, really hot flame in order to um, excite the calcium oxide sufficiently. Okay, so the gases come in here and then come out of a little jet here and play on the calcium oxide or the lime. Okay. How did they get their hydrogen and oxygen? Well, they used to have big balloons, big bladders here, filled up with the gases. And then when they needed to turn up the spotlights, somebody sat on the balloons to try and get the gases to come out uh, more forcefully onto the lime. But there is, of course, a bit of a problem with this, okay, with the uh, bags of hydrogen. And that is, of course, that hydrogen is also flammable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's blown my candle out. And actually, there was an accident uh, in the Drury Lane Theatre in London uh, with one of these hydrogen balloons blowing up. And so after that, well, it, they had to rethink their method of lighting the theatres and the limelight was abandoned. Okay. Well...